What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pikmin 4 for the Nintendo Switch. I'm excited to play this brand new sequel and enter the world of Pikmin once again. My channel is home to some of the most popular Nintendo videos on YouTube. In fact, my first episode of Pikmin 3 got over 5 million views and that's all thanks to you leaving over 48,000 likes. I would be thrilled if this video got even a fraction of that, so please drop a like on this video. I want to give a special shout out to my members, but if you're not a member yet, thank you for subscribing. We have over 5 million subscribers. That's incredible, and I cannot thank you enough. If you haven't subscribed to Zach Scott Games yet, now is your chance. I'll do my best to bring you even more awesome videos. Just let me know which games made you subscribe and which games you want to see me play in the future. Now, without further ado, let's play Pikmin 4. Here we go. I am Captain Olimar. I came in a spaceship called the SS Dolphin. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt him. This is the story of how I crashed onto an unknown planet. And how I was ultimately rescued. Spoiler alert. <laughs> this, is a, this is a cute intro here. After the crash, I woke up to find my ship was in pieces, scattered everywhere. I had no way of returning home to my beloved family. I thought I was doomed. Until I encountered a strange species, which I named Pikmin. <laughs> the Pikmin had an innate desire or will to carry the objects. With their help, I was able to find and transport my missing ship parts. Time passed and I met yet another mysterious creature. It appeared to be malnourished. Oh no. Give it a bone. <laughs> so I tossed over a treat. After that, we quickly bonded. This is a really cute intro. I like. She is a steadfast partner in the quest to find the missing pieces of my spaceship. Gotta get that thing repaired, huh? A quest that was nearing its end. Okay. Until... <laughs> we arrived in the last area we had left to explore. This is like a modern house. <laughs> what is this place? This is like a living room. Kitchen. Open floor plan. <laughs> Very cool. Well, here we are. Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Yeah, we're in like a house. Oh, wow, we got a lot of Pikmin already. Wait, <laughs> where are you running off to? Interesting. Okay. Hi. Now, if I saw this in my home, I'd be like, I need an exterminator quick. <laughs> I don't know. They're kind of colorful. They're kind of cute. Maybe not. Are those two different blues or is that the same blue? Just one's in light. That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. Are we missing ship parts? Hello, doggy. All right, I get to ride the dog. That's pretty cool. So look ahead, yeah. That's pretty cool. Let's go find the ship parts. Can I just crash through that? I saw some of the Pikmin head this way. They could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pup strength. I just need to press X and hold down, then take aim. When she's at full strength, I'll let go and let her rush. All right, let's do it. 
Boom! We broke through. And there are some red Pikmin right there. Five of them. Aha, I knew it. Now I'll use B to call them back to me with my whistle. Get over here. So this is kind of like a tutorial or something in a way. I mean, that's how all games kind of start. I just wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. Hmm, I better make a note of this in my voyage log. Uh, sure. Record. You never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now, how to phrase it. Oh, that's up to you on how to phrase it. I don't want to... <laughs> don't make me log it myself. All right, strange Pikmin behavior. Okay, when I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and can call them back using my whistle. All right, that's a good way to say it. I need to find my missing ship parts, but it will be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. All right, great. So, we know the rush. We know the whistle. We know looking around. Get over here, guys. Everyone. At least I have a few more Pikmin now. Yeah, we have, we're at seven. We're at seven to seven. Don't need, to, don't need to rush those. Okay, sure. Oh, I didn't, I didn't charge it all the way. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Got all three. There you go. Yellow, get in here. So we have uh, 13 of 13 that we found. Search the area below? You mean down here or? There's a fan. Don't look before you leap. Definitely not. Oh yeah, we can go down here, no problem. And I guess if I wanted to, I could, could I go up there myself? Yes, great. Okay, feel that gust of wind. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, I see a bunch more Pikmin just hanging out over here, so let's, uh... Oh, I, I hear something. Do you? I mean, there's a, there's a huge area here. I mean, might as well take a look, right? Oh, there's some Pikmin up. Can I charge this? There you go. Fall in line, friends. Let me see what's over here. I mean, this is a pretty big area to be searching. I bet some went in that grass, right? Come on, tell me that's true. That grass just moved. All right, can I charge this? I can charge it, but it's unaffected, so. Hey, guys. Everyone fall in line, my friends. I don't know how many I need to, need to get. All right, yeah, jump. Hmm. At least I can gather these guys. Uh, not that it... Hmm, okay. Gather up, gather up. See some on the stairs over there. There's a fake car. They're hiding here too. That's okay. We'll rush this. It's like bowling, except you get to break the pins. We have quite a lot. We have 57. There's some up here. Okay, there has to be a ship part around here somewhere. This is the perfect situation to rely upon my pup's powerful nose. Track down one of those parts, girl. All right, what are you going to do? Look at all the pigment on her. It looks like she's got spikes. Or hair or feathers or something. So it's only that way. It's a stinky one. We need to stay on that scent. All right, right. But I'm gonna I'm gonna also try to get the ones from uh, the stairs. Did I throw one? I did not mean to throw one. I don't think I threw one, but maybe I did. Okay, using our. All right, looking good. Are they up over here? All right, let's rush this. Nice. Oh, shoot. Okay, I, sorry. I thought I squished one for a second. Whoa! <laughs> a creature. What is that? I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one whole? What is that? Those spiky things are going to make this tough. I have to find an opening. Maybe I should use X to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the time is right. In the meantime, let's circle it and wait for a chance to strike. 
Sounds like a good plan. I mean, you're telling me what to do. Oh, wow. Do I do it now? Hold on. I need to... Oh, there you go. Now's a good time. There you go. There you go. There you go. Everyone back. There you go. On it. Good job. I feel like I handled that quite well. And there goes its soul. What, what is this? It's the interstellar radio. We located it at last. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. I recovered the interstellar radio. So I immediately sent out an SOS signal. Is this Earth? And attached the latest version of my voyage log. Days and weeks passed, but one month later, my signal reached the rescue corps. All right. They took off towards the remote planet with noble plans to bring me home safe. Unfortunately, fate had other ideas. I don't know if this is Earth or what. The rescue officers sent to rescue me crash landed during their arrival. Oof. Double shipwrecks are rare and extremely unlucky. <laughs> At this point, you might think that all hope was lost. But there was one last rescue officer left at Rescue Corps HQ. A rookie. You. Me. That's right. You are my last hope. Perfect. I'll do it. I'll save the day. Whoa, emergency mission. <laughs> Rescue the Rescue Corps. All right. Uh, following emergency protocol, all officers were directed to evacuate the spaceship. Immediately finding the dispersed Rescue Corps is now your top priority. All right. I can do that. Create your badge ID and deploy immediately. Get me out of here. All right. So, my ID badge. What? You can change your name, your look and name later. So, what am I looking at here? This Oh, skin color. This is me in real life, so maybe that. I don't know. Maybe I'll go with this one. Maybe I'll stick with this one. And then uh, next. Oh, do I want to be which size? Oh, wow. It's my choice. Uh, let me stick with it. I like being small, maybe. Oh, what do I look like in real life? I don't even know. Let's go with this. Sure. Red's fine. Let's go with the green suit. Zach Scott's my name. Uh, let me let me take a look really quick though. Uh, what if I wanted to be this guy? Oh wow. Wow. I like this one and this one. Give me some eyebrows. How about that? There you go. <laughs> All right. Th this is pretty cool. I guess I'll go like this. This this one's a good one. This one's kind of cool too. Let me go with this one. There we go. I'm I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna force myself to be happy with this. This looks good. I'm good. Zach Scott. Okay. Yeah, we're good, we're good. No! <laughs> All right. I think I look pretty cool. I'm ready to deploy. My home planet is Karut. The Rescue Corps' newest officer, they recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their missing colleagues. Let's go, I look fabulous. <laughs> I get really like, I mean, I'm glad that, okay, hold on, not only my fate, but the fate of the rescue corps. I keep wanting to say corpse. Rest in the hands of one inexperienced adventurer. Zack Sky Games, baby. Let's go, let's save the day. Let's get the rescue corps. Let's get the uh, Captain Olimar eventually, I suppose. Is that how this is gonna work?
Here I am. The green kind of blends in with the greenery. <laughs> but that's okay. I got a light on my head. Search for the missing rescue officers. Hey, are you mine? My little pup? Hey, little pup. All right, great. Joining my team. I forgot what this guy's name is. Ochi? I think it's Ochi. This young, loyal rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that's long served the Shepherd family. This is his first mission. All right, we found the rescue pup. That's a good good part there, right? There you go. That's, <laughs> that's the first one. <laughs> All right. Great. Let's go take a look around. Can I ride you? Or no? Are you too small? Something uprooted this plant. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Is it going to be this easy? Someone's in need of rescuing for sure. Let's go get him. How do I how do I just go up here? Oh no. Begin rescue out yo. Come with me. And then we're gonna go over here. And can you just pull that out of the way? Do you need my help to do it? You got it? Alright, great. Just a little bit more, pup. Then we'll be able to squeeze through here. Get to the root of this. <laughs> All the dirt has been removed. Awesome. Hey, buddy, hey, I'm here to save you. My dog is too. Ochi. Is that a whistle on him? Yeah, he's got his own whistle. Uh, uh, huh? Is that you, Ochi? I'm a rescuer. I'm here to rescue the rescuers. Thank the stars. I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had received has reached HQ. So, so you and Ochi found and rescued me together? That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our captain. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications opera operator for the Rescue Corps. All right. As the Rescue Corps comms officer, he handles communication for his fellow officers. Plus, he's handy with a wrench. Give him a wrench. All right, great. There's another one done. I mean, so far, so good here. You met up with Colin, the Rescue Corps comms operator. That's one down. Now, that's two down. You don't count the dog as a member? Now, where could the other rescue officers be? Let's find him. My path got cut off by the small landslide, and when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest recruit, right? It's Zach Scott, isn't it? Well, hey. I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out the, that emergency signal to rest the rescue corps as well. It was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. What happened? I have no idea. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. Hey, well, maybe this planet is just hostile to, to visitors. No. I've confirmed that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe we'll be so lucky. And if we're lucky... <laughs> We'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an official rescue core tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. <laughs> it's like a guy carrying two phones just in case. Tap up on the left. Okay, to open the review your missions. Let's go. You can use this app anytime to confirm what tasks are top priority. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have moments to rest. Hello? For now, just remember that you can always tap up to view missions. But if you pass, if you press minus and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. You met up with Colin, the Rescue Corps comms operator. That's one down. Okay, yeah, we, so we, we did that. Good job to us. Now then, let's go find the SS Shepherd. All right, let's do it. If you guys are ready, I'm ready. I'm assuming it's this way. Uh, there was no way to turn right. No. All right, fall in line, everybody. I wonder if we'll find some Pikmin soon. Well, there we go. There she is, the SS Shepherd. 
I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. Can you, go? you know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go. What is it that you remember? I don't remember anything. The, the plants on this planet are gigantic. Maybe we're just small. Always make sure that the area is safe with R. I mean, there's something over here, right? What is this? Look, that's it. See that big hole in the ground over there? If only we could find a way there. Then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepard. What? What is this? Right here. It's impossible to get over the ledge. There's something under that dirt. I'm going to send the dog over to dig. Dogs are great at digging, right? This is a perfect job for a rescue pup. They're known for being excellent diggers. Good pup, Ochi. You're making easy work of all that dirt. Almost there. Excellent. We got a tunnel. You can see why rescue pups are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Huh? This looks just like the other hole we saw. Well done, Ochi. Excellent. Good job. I'm happy about it. For real. I'm proud of you. And there's another tunnel there. So I wonder if these two holes are somehow connected underground. It looks pretty deep. We're just going to have to dive right in. For real? A rescue officer must act with courage in the face of any danger. True. That's so true. Though it does look pretty dark down there. Uh, let's, let's go. I want to see what happens. Whoa. Oh, wow. Burrow of Beginnings, sub-level 1. That's interesting. I know we were, like, kind of entering, like, a new section, or, like, a sub-level is what they're called. All right. So what do we got to do? Hey, what is it, Ochi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here? That would be wonderful if that's true. Uh... Fall in line, rescue officer. No. Looks like a dead end, yeah. And I'm Hello? even doing this to try to call any sort of Pikmin or, or anyone else who's out there. Anyone who wants to listen to my whistle, my beautiful whistle. Oh, wow. Someone's, like, trapped up there. Oh, they climbed. Attack, Ochi. What? Oh, my. What a place to find the captain. That terrified individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Zach Scott. The captain comes from a long line of rescue officers. This is no time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something. All right. All right. Fine. Send it. Go get it. Surrounded by creatures, not a problem. There go their souls. Now, can I... Oh, I'm not riding them yet, so... Don't worry. Phew, now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on so long. Okay, I can do this. Whoa. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? Yeah. Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're all right. Oh, you. I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. Oh, you. Uh, well, well sorry. <laughs> I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. I thought for some reason it went to, like, another window. Did you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Zach Scott? Yeah, I, I ordered a dog by myself. Ochi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. Guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. There you go. Shepard here, 99th Rescue Corps officer. She was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a life. Okay, great. Awesome. Good for her. We found Captain Shepard. What more do we need to do? I don't know. We found Captain Shepard with the captain here. It feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what were you what were you doing down here anyway? Huh? 
While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I wandered around this cave trying to find an exit, and when I came up uh, on those icky, slimy creatures... Oh. Hang on. Did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered the cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. So far. Well, then, easy. Uh, what are we waiting around here for? Oh. Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. I mean, they're making this seem a lot easier than I know it's going to be, so... Uh, copy that. Great. Awesome. Copy that indeed. Is someone, is something wrong? You didn't say anything, Zach Scott. I'm a mute character. Copy that is the Rescue Corps' way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together, okay? Copy that. Copy that. Very good. Excellent reply. There, there we go. I'm falling in line. I mean, one of your soldiers now. That said, you'll need to review the Rescue Corps uh, Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential to our work. Great. I know. I, I mean, okay. Oh, I had to install it. That'd be funny if they actually had to download from the internet or something. Okay, Rescue Journal. Yeah, this is where you find advice. Great. I'm out of here. You'll be able to access them via your tablet as the need arises, so put them to good use while out in the field. Since Ochi and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. Well, great. Thank you. Oh, well, I can break those. I mean, that's pretty easy. That's As a trainer, that's one thing I can do. Quite the conundrum. Well, actually, uh, what would you do? I would send... I would charge. I would rush. Oh, you could just command it. Great. Perfect. That's what I would do. That was quite a rush. Strike. What else are we looking for here? Any anything else kind of any Pikmin down here at all? No. I remember I remember this area. Yeah, me, me too, I guess. I don't know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. This is the way out, right? Toro. There, that's what I fell in. That's where I fell in. Come on. My word, to think you survived a fall from that height. But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? I don't know. I feel like it would be easier just to... Hey, there's something under the light. Oh, it's a fan. Perfect. That'll help me up for sure. Whoa. Okay. And then... Um, trying to think how I want to structure these episodes because I'm not really sure. Like how long each one's gonna be. Whoa. Here we are. Aww. Excuse me, Zach Scott. That's me. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when enc encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe don't just touch it. Well, that's what I do. That's how I solve things. I completely agree, though in this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. Thank you. I accept your apology. And there's a flag. Is that a fast travel point? All right, Captain. The Rescue Corps' flag has been officially planted. Now for that status report on all cave-related activities. We located and rescued one castaway, and no other individuals were found during our search. Noted. Then let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. Uh, but you both did good work today. Well done, Zach Scott and Ochi. I guess we're just going to skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. <laughs> Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? Can you go? I don't think so. I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Uh, of course. And good for you. You did it. Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. Let's face it. See what it looks like up close. That looks like a good ship. There's like an item next to it. All right, there it is, the SS Shepherd. What is it? Can we can we use this yet, or is this like use it later? Maybe we should. I don't know. Maybe I should just wait, hold off a little bit. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd? Well, it did crash, so no surprises there. I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. Boom! No. <laughs> <laughs> just gets too close and just blows up. Okay. Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, 
I discovered the engine had overheated and that the spaceship was sa seconds away from total destruction. What? Or will it be okay? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. So we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar? Uh, you can say that in a way. Uh, not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Here it is. Take a brief look at this. All right. Okay. <laughs> I like how I have to install them. I found treasure. After a thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I've deduced they are they must contain sparklium. I feel giddy to have found real life treasure, but my focus must remain on the main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. Very cool. In layman's terms, we should be able to extract sparklium from sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepard, those objects truly are nothing short of real-life treasures. I'm skeptical. But at this point, we have nothing to lose. That may be our only chance. So from this point on, we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Copy that. All right. Nice. Apparently, sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so you can restart the SS Shepard. Once we collect this treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. We can use Pikmin. Oh, okay. Yeah, or that. For that, we can use the SS Beagle. Lovely plants all around. Alright, we just need a good place for it to land. Huh? What's that over there? Let's find out. Oh wow, what is that? Watch out. It's so shiny. Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. Come on over, ship. SS Beagle repositioning successful. Good, our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. Let's find that treasure indeed. Uh, see anything sparkly around here? Yeah, look, there's a fork or something. What is this? Is this what I think it is? This has to be a treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. Let's check the tablet to see if it's emitting a high energy reading. All right, rookie, press that to open the radar map. Does it matter? Oh, this. Oh, I I keep thinking that's a D pad, but it's just like the plus. There we go. <laughs> I was like, anywhere on the D-pad? Presence of Sparklium confirmed in the center represents the treasure. From now on, you can consult your radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. And there is, seemingly. What do I do? Great. Excellent work. I'm going to take this auspicious start as a good sign. But um, how are we going to move it? Pikmin. Or or the dog, who, can you move it? Can you, can you dig it out or something? Thank you. You can at least dig it, right? Great. I think we could all... Okay, he got it. He's a three of three. Excellent. It's on the move. Get it moving. That's perfect. There you go. It's kind of like a fork. This treasure is large. It's like a two-pronged fork. What do they call them? Uh, how can we physically collect something this big? The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. There we go. Hi. Oh, wow, 50. Yes, energy detected. If we can collect 250 more units of sparkling, we may be able to restart the SS Shepard. But the SS Shepard is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? I believe we can get it to run on Sparklium alone, though it may be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're going to need a lot more. Then we need to search the area for more treasure. All right, that sounds that sounds easy enough. Any Pikmin around here? What is this? 
What is this? The music. What's this? Is that a treasure? I don't think so, but let's just send the dog over. You deal with it if it explodes. <laughs> this is your life, not mine. It's like a fruit or something. What is this? Well, he's taking it. It doesn't sparkle, does it? Good job, Ochi. Carry it just like that. Yeah, good job. Go faster, though, please. Well, I'm, I'm on a time limit. <laughs> I don't think I actually am. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Oh, no, this is the like the onion thing, right? Yeah. This will collect Pikmin. Or give me a Pikmin. There you go. Huh? It moved. I don't think it's a treasure. What could it be? It looks kind of like a plant. Could this thing be the thing that Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log? He called it an, an, an onion. If this is an onion, then what is that sprout? It's a Pikmin, obviously. Pluck. Because you pick it. I picked it. It's a red Pikmin. All right. Oh my, I think this could be a Pikmin. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, they're friendly and helpful creatures. Well then, maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. Look at that. Ochi's already bonding with the Pikmin. You should introduce yourself as well, Zack Scott. And, um, Captain, how long do you intend to hide back there? All right, so we have a Pikmin. You can select Pikmin with L and R. Yes, go get that one. Thank you. Bring that in. And then we'll, we'll need to, as soon as that one comes in, is this only gonna be like one, like literally one? Okay, I don't know that we need to see other oh, one Pikmin. Yeah, okay, great. Oh no, more than one. That's interesting, I got two. What, more sprouts? That red seed-like thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed one to the onion, it will create more Pikmin. What a mysterious life form. And then let's send in, uh, here. Oh, I actually have to pick them, okay. All right, uh, there you go, send one there. And then there's a couple over here. All right, everyone, bring them in, bring them in, guys. But not too, not too slow, not too slow. There's one there, one there, send another one over. Uh, there's one required over here. We're gonna get a lot of Pikmin. Any more, any more that anyone can see. There's a sparkly thing right there. I, I don't know how to get up there, but we'll figure it out. I wish I could just kind of rally them all right here rather than plucking them, but sure, I'll pluck them, what, whatever. Oh, I, oh I, I, okay, it does it kind of automatically. Oh, that's a lot of Pikmin, yeah. Yeah. At some point, I would start being scared that I'm outnumbered. <laughs> like, okay, are they gonna are they gonna be nice to me, or are they gonna not be nice to me? Now, how do I? There's, I saw this sparkly thing over here. What do I do with this? Do I just? Oh, I can rush that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so I have to switch to him. Is this a is this a DS? Like, or no, this thing. Wait, this is the Game Boy Advance, right? Yes, there we go. Awesome. Love it. That was close. Too close. All right, great. Uh, whoever wants to... There you go. Let's bring it back. Awesome. What else do we need to get? Is there Are there any other sparkly things around here? There's something over here. Can I climb up here, or do I gotta rely strictly on the Pikmin? I don't know. Oh, there's one over here, here we go. Rally up. That was a big collection. Uh, then this is a... All right, another treasure's coming our way. What is this? Looks like a bell, like a ringing bell. We're almost to three. If this is 100, then we're great. 
Is there a way to speed him up? I kind of wish there was like a fast forward button, honestly. Like, like go. <laughs> All right, time to get this thing moving. Indeed, indeed. All right, so put it in. Okay, hopefully this is this puts us at the 300 mark. Huzzah! You two make a fantastic combination, Zack Scott and Ochi. Thanks a bunch. Why, why is he giving me a choice? <laughs> yes, yes. Keep up the good work. The Pikmin are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. Wow, it's time now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Get started right away, Colin. Alright, let's do it. We got 300 worth. So extract that energy. Let's get the ship moving. Hey. Energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. All right, great. And a little bitty fork. Whatever it's called, whatever a two-pronged fork is called, I don't know the official term. There we go. Is it good? It seems to be good. All right, the SS Shepherd is running. We get all 300. We restarted the SS Shepherd using the sparkling extracted from the treasure. Hello, hello. We did it. The ship's back online. We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for our missing rescue officers. Excellent, Colin. Boot it up and see if we pick up any signals. Yeah, let's find some more uh, more officers then. I mean, that would be nice to finish up finding the officers. I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. They could be coming from our lost rescue officers and even Captain Olimar. Then we don't have a moment to lose. Time to get rescuing. All right, exploration results. Day one, we got two rescues. So I'm, I feel pretty good about that. And then, uh, that's, so that's Colin and Shepard rescued. And we got some, of course, a, a noble Bident, Stone of Advancement, and Path Creator. Interesting. That's interesting. The ship is automatically naming the objects. We encountered unknown objects and elements on our missions all the time, so I had a naming AI installed on our new ships. Apparently, it was co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than ex I expected. Pretty impressive. Yeah. It is neat, but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. <laughs> probably so. Well, there we go, guys. I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing out of the SS Shepard. I didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. Uh, I've been roughing it for a long enough, and there's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. And you're sh you're sure we have enough energy rations, Colin? Emergency rations, Colin. We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. I counted our stock three times, but I can do it again. No. Excellent plan. Now <laughs> tomorrow we'll focus on recon. So you and Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest, Zach Scott. But don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. All right, head, review missions. So, great. We we did that. Oh, well, okay, now that's our next mission, which is to find even more and to rescue people. So, more energy, more rescuing. Sounds good, honestly. I'd say that's a good, solid mission plan for the next day. And then, what does it look like now? What happens to our rescue mission? Day two is starting up. It's a new day. Very cool. All right, I guess this is everyone. I call this strategy meeting to order. Copy that. Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered thanks to the efforts of Zach Scott. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown and the SS Shepard is out of commission. All things considered, our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olimar, has run into some roadblocks. Our first priority is now to search and rescue. Uh, is now the search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers, Zach Scott, Ochi, 
fly to the area where our radar picked up those distress signals and tried to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide direction and guidance from here. Yellow? Don't worry. We'll be available via the SS Shepard's wireless communication at all times so you'll have our full support. I wouldn't typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be in good pause with Ochi by your side. You two make a great team. Hello? Captain, what about our search for Captain Olimar? Should, should, we, be, uh, should we officially put it on pause? pause. N no, we may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our, on our mission list just in case. On that note, I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. So, so yeah, Ol rescuing Olimar is still on the mission list. Captain Olimar is shipwrecked on this unknown planet. Discover his whereabouts while you search for missing rescue corps officers. Awesome. And then new tab. What's new in the tablet? We had a tablet app installed. Status report installing right now. I love that it has to install. Uh, so what do we... Status report. Okay, yeah. So rescue command post 100%. So hold on. Let's look at this. Great. That's good. We got rescues and sparkly. And everything's looking good there. Now, I don't know if we're going to get 100% on everything going forward. But, I mean, cool. We got that one done. And then missions. So, yeah. Rescue Captain Elamar, of course. And of course, rescue the rescue core. ID badges. This is me. I'm looking good. And then there's, there are other people that we have with us right now. And then we're still missing some others. And then Olimar, of course. And then this is my journal. These are those things I've learned along the way, I guess. Now, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know why I have one, two, and six. I don't know. We're like four or five. I don't know if they're even that important to have the tips and tricks. And then the vo voyage log right here. Okay. And I don't know. You know, I don't need to go in and read every single thing here. But good to know. Again, history and stats. Story log. Okay, so that's if you miss some chat. Story chat. Okay, story stats. Okay, great. Great. Awesome. So with that, uh, I'll leave you for now. But I'll be back next time for more. We'll do day two here. We'll continue exploring. I had a great time so far. So be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like this video. I'll see you. Goodbye, and thank you for watching. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.